Hello everyone and thank you for watching our video today. My name is Sean and today we have our guest here, Nicholas. Hello Hi. Nicholas. Hello. How are you? Very good. Sounds good. Are you ready for the driving? Yeah. Yeah. Your test is coming up soon and you have requested for this mock test in Charlottenlund, right? That's right. Yeah. Great. So today we are in Charlottenlund and we will be driving the, the newest route, uh, Nicholas, that has been driven lately. Yeah. Okay. From, from our previous student. Um, and as you know, um, they will ask you some technical questions before the driving itself. Have you seen some of our other videos? Yeah, uh, almost all of the yeah. yeah of the driving videos. Yeah. Do you and the technical videos? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel that they could help you? They they really show me how to uh, drive before I get into the car, and then I realize before I get into the car what I'm supposed to do because in the car it's hard to recognize exactly what you're doing wrong unless before you're driving, uh, uh, you actually know what to look out for. All right, mm -hmm. great. Um, so let's get started. Um, so you can ask, get asked up to five questions, but I will only ask you one question today. Okay. For the technical stuff. And you need to show me and tell, explain me about the rules for the tires. Okay. Um, so perhaps we shall go outside and look at the tire. Yes. Yes. Great. Great. Mm -hmm. And so. I'm gonna put the steering all the way to the left so we can see the tread pattern. Yeah. And and why did you press the brake pedal? Because uh, pressing the brake pedal will allow me to start the car. To start the car. Excellent. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Because yeah. otherwise your steering wheel will not be moving, right? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. so now the car is on. Shall we go outside? Yes. Yes, let's do that. Okay. All right, so you have turned the, the wheels out. That's right. And the tread should be uh, 1.6 millimeters. Great, and how can you see that, that you have reached the, the, the 1.6 millimeters is that yeah. And uh, you can see uh, these uh, little plastic Excellent. And here. the next yeah. one over here, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because it has to be uh, normally the one on the main thread. So this will be considered as the main thread. Yeah. Great. Looks like there should be enough tires for this drive at least. Yeah. Yes. Great. Exactly. All right. And um, how about, uh, is there anything else you can, you can say about the tires? Except from the 1.6 millimeters, that they have to be uh, grippy, and uh, according to the weather, uh, appropriate. Okay. All right. And you can also say that the air pressure has to be appropriate according to the car's manual. Exactly. Great. Yeah. Super. All right. Let's go in and drive. All right, Nicholas. That was uh, pretty good with the technical question. Satisfying answer to uh, technical questions. Uh, a few more things like more content when they ask you for the for one question it's recommended okay um because in that case they might not ask you like up to those five questions they might just stop it on the first or the second if you're giving enough content so mm -hmm. uh advice is you could have said that uh that um, tires must never be damaged mm. um and if there is a uh, like arrows on the tires then the tire has to be uh, placed at the correct according to the arrow. Okay. Okay. And you can you could also have added that if it's if you have summer tires, then all of them has to be summer tires. Mm -hmm. Or if you had winter tires, then all of them have to be winter tires. Where was it that you were from? Ecuador. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's really far away. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you guys don't use uh, winter tires there, right? Uh, only summer tires. <laughs> only oh. summer tires. All right. Have you been living long time in Denmark? Three years. Three years. So it's time to get the license. <laughs> how about the process of you were exchanging your license, right, from Ecuador? That's right. Do you yeah, remember yeah. how long time you had to wait here for the authorities to to let you start the process? 
Uh, maybe around uh, six months. Wow. Yeah. 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 We are hearing this that they are really uh, slow. Mm. Some people are even waiting up to one year. Yeah. So I was lucky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you get used to the Danish culture and? Yeah. Uh, still getting used to it. Yeah. But, uh, it's uh, it's good. Yeah. Do you want to hear a Danish joke? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why is it always so cold in the football stadiums? Why? Because there are so many fans. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> yeah. drive. Good, yeah? All right. Let's start driving. Yeah. So we'll go out that way. Okay. Yeah. Good verification before starting the drive. <clears throat> then let's go left and left. All right. <clears throat> and sorry, I forgot to mention that if I'm not giving you any directions, yeah. so that always means that proceed straight. Yeah. Okay. Excellent checkup for traffic on both sides due to absolute giveaway <clears throat> duty. And in your driving test, the, only the examiner will be in the car. Mm -hmm. And the translator will be in the car's uh, phone speaker system. Good verification behind to the right for cyclists and pedestrians. But the translator will always meet you uh, before the test itself. Yeah. Because uh, there is this rule that the translator has to be, be there in the beginning, but then when the driving itself uh, will start, then the translator will not be there, but only in the phone. And they have to be there in the beginning for the technical questions. Uh -huh. Let's turn right at this traffic light. Should have positioned furthest right. You see the gap on your, on your right side? Yeah, I yeah it's too. recommended to... It's hard to see now uh, because of all these leaves, mm. if this was a bike lane or not. But I believe that it's there is not a bike lane, so make sure to close, like don't leave this space open. Okay. On your right side, we call it blocking for the cyclist. Turning right without verification in the blind spots, only checking side mirrors. Turning right without verification behind to right for cyclist. It's a bit tricky because they come like right after each other. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Yeah, exactly. And then, yeah. Good verification behind to the right for cyclists and pedestrians. Driving appropriate speed due to roadworks. Good verification behind to the right before lane changing. So we are about to turn right. Um, it's a little bit hard to see the road, but it's yeah. coming up a, a little bit here. Okay. It's just here, yeah, to the right. Good verification behind to the right for cyclists and pedestrians. Yeah, nice observing the cyclists. Better late than <laughs> never. <Yeah. laughs> All right, I need you to park your car on the right side. Um, by the curve, like parallel to the curve. Mm -hmm. That is fine here. And, um, and Nicholas, you are, um, can you show us a right reverse, corner reversing yeah. maneuver? Good verification before starting like to reverse on both sides. Reverse, yeah. And if 
and just keep going until the examiner normally says stop. Yeah, so we need mm. to go a little bit more and at all times keep still keep close to the curb, all right? But that's fine here. Um, yeah. Pretty good. At the end, it was going a little bit far out, but make sure to keep right. Satisfying cool. right corner reverse. Let's proceed and then let's turn to the to the left. Excellent checkup for traffic on both sides due to absolute giveaway duty. Excellent checkup for traffic on both sides due to absolute giveaway duty. Good verification behind to the left before lane changing. Leaving the intersection while traffic light turning yellow then red. Turning right without verification behind yeah, to the right. Being really impatient, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's turn left over here. Turning left without verification behind to the left. Excellent checkup for traffic on both sides due to absolute giveaway duty. Good verification, well done Mafia Look. Yeah, they get surprised that you're actually stopping and giving way to the right as you are supposed to. So that was great. They're not used to that people are stopping on the right hand duty. <laughs> Do you have such thing in your country in Ecuador? No, we would give away right hand duty. <laughs> <laughs> we do, but nobody. Okay. Does this. <laughs> so it's uh, who came first goes first. Yeah. Yeah. Right, then let's turn right, coming up here intersection. Good verification behind to the right before lane changing. Good verification behind to the right for cyclists and pedestrians. Turning right without verification in the blind spots, only checking side mirrors. Good verification behind to the left for cyclists and pedestrians. Then lucky you with school vacation <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Nice Maybe. and empty roads. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Are you going to travel in the school vacation? No. No. Just study. <laughs> you probably don't have any tape recorder. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> I used to have. Turning right without verification behind to the right. Good verification behind to the right before lane changing. Take the advantage right in the roundabouts if they're signaling to the right. Yeah, yeah, true. Turning right without verification behind to the right. But then some people also decide to don't signal before exiting. So that can be really annoying. Mm -hmm. It's a big help, right, if they are signaling so that 
the new cars, uh, other rogue user can go in. Yeah, yeah. that's why it's uh, a rule. Yeah, some people find it uncool to <laughs> give signal. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Is it like that also in Ecuador? Yeah. You see drivers out there and just turning every like here and there without the signal. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Especially the BMW. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go left on the traffic lights. So they, they should have made normal BMWs and then BMWs for those who don't want the turn signal. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Good verification behind to the left for cyclists and pedestrians. Yeah, you can probably recognize the place we are now slowly heading back. Yeah. Good verification behind to the left for cyclists and pedestrians. Normally they will finish the test uh, just on this road, so we will do that also actually. Yeah. yeah. So if you just proceed a little bit straight and then park your car by the curb. Good verification behind to the right for cyclists before parking. Yeah, that is fine. Then you can secure your car. It's recommended to also switch off the turn signal. Yeah. And new cars can do many things for you and they can also turn off the signal for you. But it depends which kind of signal you're using. Is it the lane changing signal or the uh, the full signal. Mm. So okay. every every mostly every new car has um, a two function on the on the turn signal. Mm -hmm. That was it, Nicholas. Yeah. Now we are back. How do you how do you think the it went the driving? I think it. Really Were you satisfied? Me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you remember something that you? was thinking that this I should have done more differently. Yeah. Yeah. I needed to uh, maybe commit more when I saw the cars turning to the right in the roundabout. And uh, when I saw a green light, not hesitate okay. to go to the right. All right. Yeah, this, um, this hesitating thing you guys can sometimes do by mistake because you want to be careful. Mm -hmm. And um, Many times they are failing the, the students if the students are being um, hesitating uh, a bit too much. So mm -hmm. yes, um, take that for your consideration. And if there are other things um, we will point it out in this video mm -hmm. that you can take for for progressing in your in your driving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, great. And uh, and. For those out there, uh, remember you can always check out our videos about the car's technical stuff. We are covering both manual cars, uh, electric vehicle, automatic car. Uh, the test route will normally not change depending on the car, but, um, but the difference will be that there will be other technical questions for the, for the petrol car or the diesel compared mm -hmm. to the electric vehicle. Um, would you like to participate in a mock test like this? Feel free to write it in the comments below. And um, thank you to Nicolas for participating in the video. And thank you. Thank you to you guys for watching. We hope you liked our video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>